Hi, my name is Abby. I'm a yoga instructor based out of Washington, D.C. I'm also one of the organizers uh, with Occupy DC, one of the collectives that put on Sunset and Midnight Yoga down at Black Lives Matter Plaza in front of the White House. The reason why we even came together to start hosting these events was as a way to give back to protesters who have been out their days on end, weeks on end, in the heat, building up frustrations, emotional tension, uh, physical tension. So this was a way for us all to come together, to decompress, to reset, to recharge, basically put in a fresh new pair of batteries uh, to continue the good fight. Self-care in itself has an inherent part of any revolution. At the end of the day, you cannot stand for anyone else without standing for yourself. If you wanna be able to hold space for yourself to feel things you feel, to experience what you're experiencing, and then to let it go and to move forward. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I will be leading you through a short heart opening flow. So we'll be doing some back bends, some chest openers, things of that nature. I find that um, these type of sequences are really, really helpful tapping into you know, the love and compassion that we all hold and that we wanna bring into every space that we enter, right? Um, so roll out your mat and let's get started. We're gonna get started in child's pose with our feet together at the back of the mat. Knees wide, maybe mats width distance or more, arms extending forward. Taking as much time as you need here to breathe, to feel your body. And when you're ready, you're gonna come up into a tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Breathing here for a bit, and then we're gonna come into some cat cows. For a cat, we're gonna drop the belly, looking up, breathing in. In cow pose, we're going to round the upper back, tilt the pelvis forward, and breathe out. Going through that a few more times, taking your time here, making sure you're completing every inhale and every exhale. After about three cat cows, we're going to roll over our toes and come up into downward facing dog, our first down dog. Coming back to your breath here. Lips are sealed, strong breathing. Pressing into your hands and your feet, equalizing your weight. After about three breaths, you're gonna walk forward, coming into a forward fold, grabbing onto opposite elbows. Generous bend in your knees here. After about three breaths, interlace your hands at the base of your spine and then fold over it once again. Toe healing our feet to touch. We're gonna to rise up one vertebrae at a time, reaching up to the ceiling, and then coming with our hands to heart center. Inhaling, lifting your hands high. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling, halfway lift up, and then stepping, and then stepping back from a high to low push-up, keeping my knees on the ground for this first one. You can continue to do that. Or you can uh, raise your knees up off the ground. Coming back into our down dog for three breaths. Hugging the belly up into the spine. After your third exhale, look forward, step to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching up to the ceiling. And exhaling your hands down to your side. Completing our first sun aim. I'm gonna do that a few more times. Inhaling, lifting your hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low push-up, keeping your elbows tight to your torso. Inhaling for upward facing dog and exhaling back to down dog. Bringing your attention back to your breath always. After three breaths, maybe this time you jump to the top. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, reaching up to the sky or ceiling. <laughs> and exhaling, releasing. Then we're going to move on to chair pose, bending our knees, lifting our arms, gaze to our thumbs. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low push-up. Upward facing dog and step back to down dog. On an inhale, we're going to step our right foot forward, flaring our chest in a low lunge toward the front and then rising up, arms high. 
taking a breath in here and then hands to the mat high to low push-up inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog left foot forward moving up to the moving to the left side coming into your low lunge first and then rising up to your high lunge after you're done inhaling exhaling your hands to the mat high to low push-up inhale up dog exhale down dog we're moving kind of fast through the video it's a little sped up but uh, be sure that you're taking your time with each breath each breath in each breath out there's no rush there's nowhere to be coming into our last sun B variation sitting low for chair exhaling folding forward inhaling halfway lift exhale step back high to low push-up stepping our right foot forward we're gonna rise up to a low lunge and then lift our torso for a high lunge this time we're going to twist to the side putting our right hand back left hand forward twisting at the navel squeezing everything in the center line for stability inhaling back to center exhale hands to the mat high to low push-up you can always skip these push-ups if you'd like on the other side coming into our low lunge first and then rising up to high taking a breath here and then opening up to the left side left hand back right hand forward keeping your fingers active inhale back to center exhale high to low push-up breathe in on an up dog and exhale on a down dog taking a couple breaths here once again I like to play with shifting my weight in down dog on an inhale we're gonna jump forward exhale fold in inhale sit low for chair and then come back to standing inhale to chair pose and hold bring your hands to heart center take a breath in and then we're going to twist to the right hooking your left elbow um, against your right knee you can stay with your hands at your chest or open up trying to square your hips to the front so when you turn to the right side you're going to be pulling your left hip back right hip forward and we're going to release, taking our two-piece fingers around our big toes, inhaling up halfway, and then folding in here, elbows out to the side. Again, generous bend in your knees, really working into the lower back. Inhale, sit low for chair pose. And on exhale, we're gonna twist to the left. Again, you can keep your hands close together, thumbs at your sternum, or open up your arms folding forward after your third breath here and this time we're going to slide our palms underneath our feet so that our toes can tickle our wrist creases after a few breaths here release your hands to hold your feet to touch inhale halfway lift and take it back chaturanga high to low push up coming through your up dog and meeting in downward facing dog we're going to step our right foot forward rising up to warrior one Right toes are facing the front, left toes are facing the top left corner of your mat. After about three breaths in Warrior One, we're gonna open up to Warrior Two, putting our uh, feet in line with each other for this version of Warrior. Straightening your front leg, stepping up halfway, moving into Triangle Pose. Now, if you can see in the video, um, Something I didn't do was scooping my right hip underneath my left. You want to try and keep your back as straight as possible. After a few breaths in triangle, we're going to move to side angle, either putting your right forearm on your right thigh or right hand to the ground, left hand extending forward. One long line of energy from your fingertips to your toes. Inhale, rising back up to warrior one, interlacing your hands at the base of your spine chest reaches up to the sky or ceiling and exhale you're going to fold in inside of your right leg train track your feet if you need to here to give yourself some room letting your head hang heavy and you're going to lift your back heel placing your hands on the ground rocking back and forth to open up your hips just a little bit and then dropping your back knee on the ground you can stay on your hands or bring your forearms to the ground if you want a deeper stretch, you can come onto the uh, side of your right foot and reach behind you and grab your left leg. 
From here, we're gonna come into a low lunge once again with our knee on the ground, starting with our hands on our front knees and then lifting our hands up to the sky. Chest begins to lifting up on every inhale and on every exhale, you're going to go back a little bit more, coming into a deeper back bend. Once you're finished there, go through your vinyasa. High push-up, low push-up, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. We're doing the same thing on the left side here. Going, um, this one is a little bit more sped up, but same thing. I find that it's easy to um, keep the flow by paying attention to my breath. Moving on an inhale, moving on an exhale allows you to stay in the practice, stay in the flow of things, and uh, connect the poses uh, seamlessly. Here we're going into our humble warrior once again. Being sure your neck is hanging along for this part. Head is very, very heavy. Maybe shake your head yes, shake your head no down there. And we're coming back into our low lunge on the left side, back knee down, lifting the sternum to the sky, and then beginning to go back, feeling the right hip bone drop closer to the mat. Going through a vinyasa one more time. And then from down dog, we're going to come onto our knees for camel pose, stacking our hips over our knees, placing our hands at the smallest part of our waist. And gonna press your pelvic bone forward as you begin to lift your uh, sternum to the ceiling. And once you can't lift any more, then we go back. And as you go back, your hands are still pressing your hips forward, being sure to focus on your breath here. It can be easy to hold your breath or start hyperventilating in this pose. And then when you come out, you're gonna come out chest first, head last, and coming into a child's pose for just a couple breaths. Going back into camel, you can take the same variation we just did or bringing your hands to your heart center, um, using your core more here or um, you can reach behind you and grab your ankles if they are in reach. After about four breaths in camel, we're gonna come back into child's pose. From our child's pose, going into downward facing dog so that we can step or jump through to come onto our back for bridge pose, making sure that you can at least graze your ankles here and then lifting the hips up to the ceiling, interlacing your hands underneath your spine. And once you grab your hands, you want to shimmy onto your triceps to give yourself um, a little bit more surface area on the mat to lift even higher. Chin is tucked to the chest. And we did two bridges. You can continue on with two more bridges or for this third back bend, you can come into wheel, placing your hands on the ground next to your head and lifting up. Doing that for about three breaths, coming down. For the last back bend, you can continue with wheel, or if you wanna take it even deeper, come to a forearm wheel. This opens up your upper body, um, your upper chest, upper back, uh, a lot more than the standard version of wheel. When you're done, release down, toes together, knees apart, one hand on your chest, the other on your belly. A great time to, for gratitude, to check in with yourself, check in with your body, see how you're feeling. Then we're going to roll forward, coming into a forward fold, releasing our lower back. And inhale, you're going to lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, high to low push up. Upward facing dog, breathe in. And downward facing dog, breathe out. Looking forward, we're going to step through to come onto our back for a shoulder stand. Starting with your feet on the ground above your head, if they can reach, and then lifting them up to the sky, keeping your hands on your, uh, your spine, the, the smallest part of your spine. Toes are active here, they're pointed, core is active. After about five breaths or so, we can take our knees to the ground above our head. If your toes touch the ground, then you can release your spine and interlace your hands on the mat and then bending your knees to frame your ears. Coming back into shoulder stand so that we can roll out. 
Now we're gonna take our counter pose fish, tucking your hands underneath your glutes. Chest is lifted, puffed up to the sky, head hanging back. And taking big deep inhales and open mouth exhales. They're called lion's breath. Really filling up your chest as much as you can. And exhaling with your mouth, mouth open. An exaggerated exhale here. Coming onto your back, hugging your right knee into your chest, giving it a nice squeeze. And then take it over to the left side, gaze at your right hand for a simple twist. Coming back to center and then extending that leg. We're gonna take it on the other side, left knee into your chest, take it over to the right. And then when you're done, squeeze both knees together, giving them a nice hug, and then come into Shavasana, final rest, for as long as you need here. When you're ready, you're gonna come into a fetal position on your favorite side, eyes still closed, and then find a comfortable seat at the front of the mat, hands at heart center, coming back to whatever intention you set, closing with a deep breath, bringing our thumb knuckles to our forehead center, and closing as we share the word namaste. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little heart opening flow. Um, and just remember as you're out there holding space for others, um, hold space for yourself as well. Bye.